is the swim team in the building? I said it's the swim team in the building. Let's drown these and get these gold medals. Squad, before today's video starts, make sure you hit the like button, leave a comment, and definitely, definitely share the video. I'm pretty sure there's somebody out there that you know who trying to get waves and their waves look like boo-boo. You feel me? Dookie. Their waves look like straight dookie. This video will help them out. Alright, so anyway, today I'm going to show you how to brush your hair like a champ. True champion. My arm's a little flabby right now, but... I'm gonna show you how to brush your hair like a true champion. So first thing you're gonna need, different selection of brushes. Like for me, I'm not, I don't believe in having 100, 200 brushes. I, I don't. Everything I got serves a purpose. You feel what I'm saying? I ain't gonna hold you, I got some of them joints for free. But I made sure I, I found a spot in the lineup for them. I found a spot in the lineup for them and that's what you gotta do, bro. Don't be out here, don't be a slave to these people who just wanna sell you stuff, all right? So, <clears throat> the way I start off, usually start off with the medium soft. The reason I start off with the medium soft is because once you got the hair in the do-rag, stuff be moving around. Stuff be moving around. It's supposed to hold it in place, but stuff still moving around. So the medium soft is going to move it back where it's supposed to be. Hence the name medium soft, meaning it's not grabbing too much. After you do that, what you got to do is hit it with the comb. That's what I do. I hit it with the comb. Now, the reason you hit it with the comb, you hit it with the comb for the forks. It's plain and simple. The comb lifts your hair up, realigns the strands a little bit, and it starts straightening things out. That's the best way I could explain it. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's as scientific as I can go. So you hit the comb on it. Bow. Lift it up, lift it up, lift it up. Then you hit it with the brush. Bow. Lay it back down, lay it back down. All right? The more you comb, the less forks you have. Remember that. my situation because the middle of my hair is like thinning out which is where my crown is supposed to be the comb comes very crucial because I have to like fabricate a crown I had to really make a crown and train the hair to like go around that spot no matter what no matter what, the hair is gonna go around that spot. I had to train that. You know how hard that is to train when your joint is thinning? I don't know why it's thinning like that. I don't know if it's because I um I cut it the wrong way. I might have used something, because at one point I was using the, you know, I did the 300 layers challenge with the um the Maury's and, and, and the, the, three, the 360 wave pomade. So I don't know if that might have took a toll on my joint, but it's definitely thinning. When you take your do-rag off, you're doing a dry brush session. It ain't no, there's no moisturizer or nothing like that in there. You're doing a dry brush session. So the first couple steps, I told you with the comb, with the, the medium soft and the medium hard and all that, dry brush session. And now after you do that, you take your moisturizer of choice and you put it all over your hair, right? You put it in your palm, you wave your palm around, you put it in your hair. But that's not it. That's not all. Then you gotta take a, a, a big glump, right? and then you gotta put it around your crown. This is what I do, you put it around your crown. Because remember, that part of your hair is higher than the rest of your hair. Two, you want that to stay in place because the crown like really is what solidifies the pattern. You have a, your crown shows the direction where your pattern is going and that's, that's what seal it. So you wanna make sure that stays in place. And after you do that, you pretty much do the same thing. You, you can do the same thing as far as using the medium soft and moving to the, the comb again and then doing the medium hard or whatever. But 
It's really up to you. For this particular brush session, what I did was I moved straight to the medium. Just a, a regular medium. If you're trying to get waves, to be honest, what I'll tell you is like try to find a reason why you want waves. Like when I first started, when I first started trying to get waves in like high school, junior high school, it was to get girls. You feel me? Like, and it worked. Like me having waves used to get me a lot of girls. I'm, that's why you see all the story times I have. You know what I'm saying? Then after that, it became more serious. Like for example, last year my grandmother and my aunt passed away. I don't know if y'all noticed that I cut my hair and I started a whole new pattern. The reason I did that was because brushing my hair period is like therapeutic. You feel what I'm saying? Having waves and just sitting there and just brushing it, it, it takes your mind off of like whatever nonsense it is that you're going through. And the pattern I had wasn't really going anywhere. So I decided I needed to get my mind off of my grandmother and my aunt passing. and I'm def I was definitely depressed. So I cut my hair bald and started a whole new pattern. That was really the main reason I cut my hair bald was, you know, I know I'm gonna be brushing a lot because I'm trying to get, get my mind right. I'm trying to like, you know what I'm saying? Have my own little ther therapeutic sessions or whatever. So why not do it and start a new pattern? And that's exactly what I did. You might have other reasons, but whatever your reasons is, just find a reason that you're going to be brushing because you're going to be brushing a lot. Even though I stopped like really posting wave videos like that, that don't mean that I've stopped brushing. Like As you can see, I, I still got waves. And you know, I'm still uh, very like, I'm still into the community, you know what I'm saying? So like when I see videos, them little TikTok videos and like all these these uh, YouTubers with big channels who do other type of content just all of a sudden making wave videos and then giving people the wrong information it's kind of like it's kind of foul you know what I'm saying like that's, that's foul bro so one you can't get waves in 24 hours it's not happening you're definitely not getting waves in 10 minutes you're definitely not getting waves in an hour if you do get waves in an hour or in 24 hours, I guarantee you that your waves look like straight doodle, trash, basura, right? I think that's how you say it in, in Spanish, basura, your waves is trash. If you want like elite ass waves like 360 Jeezy and, and Poppy Blasted and um, Nick Wavy and Sir Cruz and all of them, if you want them type of ways, you it's gonna take time. It's gonna take you like at least, I'd say a little over six months to be honest with you. Cause you gotta learn your pattern, you gotta make mistakes with your brushing and all that. So anyway, um, we went over there. Her roommate wasn't there. Cause like, I guess the boyfriend came and they went out or whatever. So like, he was chilling with her for a little bit. We was chilling for a little bit, then he left. And like I ended up, you know what I'm saying, me and her, we talking. And the conversation started getting freaking. She was like, yo, like, I'm like, I'm I'm about that. You feel me? Like me and my, my ex-boyfriend, we should do a lot. You know, he put me on to a whole bunch of stuff. Then she starts talking about eating niggas' asses and shit. I'm like, yo, first off, you not eat my ass. Like, it ain't even going down like that. You just not eat my ass at all. Right? So then she was like how she liked to she liked to give head. Yo, I put this on everything I love, bro. She was like she loved to give head. Like that's she loved to give head. So now she just put that in my mind and I'm like, Word? You love to give head? 
I'm like, so now I start begging her. I'm like, you don't even look like you know how to suck no goddamn dick, yo. Like, stop. Just stop. <laughs>